I mean, seven minutes didn't take too long. <laughs> um, very happy uh, for this event, and thank you all for, for attending. Uh, I think the first thing I want to give you is one last shout out for Cape Air. Cape Air has been a, a, an incredible partner in making this moment possible. And I'm yes, so. Um, they actually Cape Air and United. I'm coming to you. Don't worry. <clears throat> but I want to explain that Cape Air brought back um, focus on this airport and this community for, for air transportation. Uh, and because of them, we were so fortunate to have a bid from uh, SkyWest uh, to provide CRJ 250 passenger seat service here with a laboratory and a flight attendant. <laughs> So uh, again, my special thanks to to the people at think at uh, Cape Air and, and uh, Dan Wolf, their CEO, and Andrew Bonnie, their senior vice president of planning. Now that was seven months in the making that we got to this point, and I have to I have a lot of thanks here, and I'm going to run through them as fast as I can. Um, but uh, our thanks to SkyWest again, uh, Greg Atkin, the uh, managing director at SkyWest, Mike Osler, uh, the network planning manager who uh, came here and talked to myself and the board in this community about their desire to come to Cape and provide service to Chicago O'Hare Airport, which is something that we have been looking at and been asked for for many, many years. Uh, I'd like to also thank uh, Mike Mo McCall, McCall Morris who kind of stepped in at the last minute at SkyWest and helped us put this particular event together and put out the press releases. Uh, I think Rusty, I uh, do want to introduce Rusty Hendricks, uh, who will be the new uh, Cape Girardeau United uh, Cape Girardeau General Manager, and Chris Johnson, who will be the supervisor. Uh, and, and all the new hires that have come in here and already have created this, this uh, new flight has provided new jobs for them. Uh, Special thanks to is Paul Acadino here. Uh, Paul is with uh, SkyWest. Uh, he is uh, their manager of corporate real estate, and I have uh, bugged him to death and whined about and drove him crazy on financial issues and that sort of thing. And he also was able to make this happen. I do want to explain uh, some of the things that have happened in the terminal. If you haven't gone down that way, we had to enlarge our baggage area, of course. Uh, so that when TSA was done with screening the bag, we had more area because obviously we have more passengers. To go from uh, eight to nine passengers to 50 seats is a, is a phenomenal thing for us, and obviously it requires more room. And, I, and that uh, was something that we were able to do, and, and it was only because of Paul's cooperation with me that, that, we, that we could do it. Uh, Jeff Steger with United, uh, like the, he's the project manager in airport transformation. And we're still transforming as we speak, uh, but all of his staff and all of his helpers, and many of them are here, uh, I do want to thank them very much. Jason Ashland, the senior manager of West Airport Operation, and Andrew Bell, whom I really haven't had a chance to shake his hand here yet, but Andrew's here with United Sales, and uh, Paul, Marti Paul Martinez, managing director of Airport Operations. Paul, thank you for coming. Uh, thank all of you for, for being here. Uh, I've also got to thank TSA, uh, Christian Meyer locally, and uh, Beth Ransom, our Cape supervisors. You're not seeing a lot of what you're going to see in about another two weeks. Uh, but the whole uh, this is going to transform the uh, screening area. It's going to start about where I am and go that direction, so that we can have more area on the on the backside to hold additional passengers. <laughs> Uh, they've made that. <clears throat> they've helped me out with designing, as did Chuck Kirkland, the assistant federal uh, security director for Missouri Airports out of St. Louis, and Don Cahoon, uh, the program analyst and checkpoint designer. That we had to get the design approved through. See, I, I just think I said on the rear day, but I, we've actually been working to make this happen. Uh, I'd like to thank in particularly my airport board, who uh, worked diligently and put a ton of time into making this possible. We had five airlines to choose from 
And, uh, you know, I, I think in the end, though, I'll tell you, it was a pretty easy decision when it comes right to it. But we didn't take that on surface value. We really dug into it and, and made sure we felt like this was going to work for us. Uh, we had not much of a doubt when it came right down to it, however. Uh, unanimous vote when it came to it, and I'm very proud to say that, that we made, I know we made the right decision. Um, my airport board uh, chairman, Robert Cork, is here, just an Albright, and my vice chairman, Jeff Bruni, uh, is here, uh, Ryan Durock, uh, Joe Hobbs, Paul Mingus, Brian Ozark, Mark Seesing, and Mark Wilker. Uh, again, my thanks to all of you. Uh, my airport staff, the administrative staff is Katrina Amos, Deputy Airport Manager. Katrina has done, she's responsible for danger or everything. Uh, <laughs> the furniture, uh, you name it, she's uh, done a lot to, to make this uh, come to completion. Uh, Derek Irwin is my flight line supervisor. Obviously, we've been working with him. You know, we have to have a place that has a lab done now, you know. So uh, there's things like that, and obviously the fuel uh, sales, fuel negotiations, and everything dealing with taking care of, of the aircraft. Um, has been a part of uh, his his energy. Uh, I've got uh, Mar uh, Morgan Palmberg will be the administrative assistant at, at, uh, at uh, Cape Aviation. Uh, Larry Davis is our air traffic control manager. Uh, Hannah Seesing, administrative assistant, who has two roles. She's worked for us part time, worked for the airline now part time, and Terry Range, who has been sitting in and, and helping tremendously, um, <clears throat> and many other of our uh, employees. Uh, I'd like to also thank John Maynard. I don't think John's here. He's got a retreat going on today, but him and his staff, Brenda Newborn's staff at the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and I know Alyssa, Stacy, Betty, I know are here. I don't think Marty's here, but I think I saw the, at least three of you. Um, now, the people that we had to take and sell this whole thing to were the, the city administration staff, uh, Scott Meyer. Behind. Uh, right. all the way. That's all the way. Yeah. <laughs> you got my back. That's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> Deputy City Manager Molly Maynard, who is really my direct boss and has worked with us uh, endlessly on the whole project. I'd like to thank Fire Chief Rick Ennis. Uh, the fire department had the majority of the share of the different changes and things that we had to do uh, to, to bring ourselves up to it what was considered with the FAA Class 3 airport to a Class 1. Uh, and Battalion Chief Mark Starnes, who was in charge of the fire, the airport fire department and, and all the aircraft rescue issues. Uh, the entire uh, uh, police department as well, Chief West Blair, we, hope, we thank you guys for everything that you have done. Uh, also want to thank uh, Public Information, Nicolette, uh, Brennan, and Jessica Sexton, who are helping us as we speak get the word out. Uh, and we're doing everything we can to market these flights. Now finally, the guys that uh, we really had to go speak to that uh, hold the money, uh, I had uh, Ward 1, uh, my city council, Joe Osoro, Osoro, I'm sorry, Joe, uh, Shelly Moore, Ward 2, Victor Gunn, Ward 3, and Robbie Gard, Road 4, Bob Fox, I know, is here, Ward 5, and Danny Esner, who's at Ward 6. Finally, let me say thank you very much to Harry Rediker, our mayor. Uh, Mayor Redger has been very supportive of this, been very supportive of the airport for a very long time, and uh, I'm going to let him uh, give you some comments before we uh, cut a ribbon. Great to be here. Uh, the sun is shining. The sun is shining on uh, our city. The sun is shining on our airport today. Uh, a great day. Uh, thank you all for uh, being here and being a part of that. It was a thrill watching that come in and the and the water cannons over over it. Uh, special thanks to all the airport board. They spend a lot of time. Our boards and commissions throughout the city are so important to us and mean so much. And, and their information and their decisions come up to council and come up to staff. And, and they're very important to us. So to the airport board, this is a big year. And, and thank you so much for it. And of course to uh, the staff, uh, it's just a, a thrill today to be here. My new friends that I met from uh, United today, welcome to Cape Girardeau, and, and we look for a long-lasting uh, relationship. Our airport is very important to us. It's part of our infrastructure. In today's mobility market, 
where people want to travel the world, we now have arrived at a point where you can board here at Cape Girardeau and fly virtually anywhere in the world through O'Hare. I think it's 550, 570 flights a day out of there worldwide. The connections and the chair, it, it's there and it's available to us. We have a lot of needs at the airport. This will let us grow our airport into what we really envision it to be. So this is today is, is, is another beginning. It's a beginning of bigger things uh, to come, Bruce and staff. I say congratulations to you and to uh, the uh, uh, board and to all the staff at the airport and to United, to TSA, um, great partners. I, I had a comment this morning on somebody that used Cape Air uh, yesterday, how friendly TSA was, what a pleasure it was to come through Cape Girardeau and see TSA. So uh, an attaboy, a shout out to TSA. It's all about customer service and it's all about it's all about representing our city as we continue to grow. So congratulations. We'll watch that flight take off shortly. Thank you for being here. Hey guys, now <clears throat> Katrina arranged to have this cake, and I'm not going to put it in the words that she did, but she bought a heck of a lot of cake, she told me. <laughs> uh, and so you guys need to feel free to eat that up. Uh, I did forget one thing. Uh, we have been running a Facebook contest uh, for a pair of uh, round trip tickets uh, on United, obviously, from Cape to, to Chicago O'Hare. And the winner of that is Whitney Quick. Whitney Quick. contest everybody else may, may or may not know was uh, we asked passengers if somebody was interested to tell us why you'd like to fly on on this airline and that's basically all they had to do put their name in the hat but they uh, uh, Whitney will get a, a couple free tickets uh, appreciate that and did I miss anything all right let's go with the ribbon I'm gonna take a few and then we'll count to three and then on three you're gonna cut so hang on just a second let me scoot back a little bit, sorry. All right, ready? One, two, three. Hey, hey! hey.